I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thanks for joining me once again on my channel on data engineering. In this episode, we're going back to our Python on Snowflake playlist, and I want to take a, a very quick look at how to read JSON, or JSON as it's called, uh, that is often stuffed into fields in, in Snowflake, uh, and take a look at how we can query our data set and uh, sort of get some really good results from there. Let's get to it. Are you a programmer looking for your next gig? Make sure to check out the additional links in the description. Okay, so we're going to be taking a look at how to put a little bit of JSON into our Snowflake table and then read the fields from JSON. We're going to stick to the basic fields today in part one. Uh, we'll do a part two where we'll show more advanced techniques like getting uh, some hierarchical data out and some array data out, but today we're going to stick to the basics and uh, we're going to go there now. So as you can see, I have this uh, directory here where I have my Python file, which is the bottom file there, and um, <clears throat> I have two JSON files, uh, customer1 and customer2, and what we're going to do is we're just going to load those very simply into JSON today. We're not going to use um, the staging files or anything like that. We're just going to load these in so that we know how to load a very basic JSON file. And then we're going to do some queries to get some simple fields out in a query. And so you can see this file here. This is sort of like the contents of one of the files. It's a JSON file that has, uh, you know, it's got some top level fields like full name, age, and gender. But then it has some sort of more hierarchical ones like uh, a phone number with an area code and and phone number inside and then it has an array with children in it and we're going to explore the phone number and children in the next episode in this episode we're just going to look at how to get those basic fields out of there and so the first question is sort of how do we get our data into snowflake and we're going to do that first and uh, what I'll do is I'll create a new um, new file here, a Python file from the idle shell. And I'll just save that as uh, sf underscore json stuff dot py. And uh, then what we're going to do is we'll just import the Snowflake connector as sc. And uh, that's going to get us the uh, connector that gives us all that wonderful functionality that we can use in our Python code. In order, in order to connect to Snowflake and perform all kinds of operations. And so we'll start off by giving some feedback to the user or to, to the console and we'll say uh, print connecting and then we're going to use a try accept finally uh, block here and so that's going to allow us to um, to catch an error if we get an error uh, which is very likely um, and it'll allow us to gracefully exit and disconnect from our Snowflake uh, connection, which is something we want to do if we get an error. We don't want to leave that connection open, and so um, that's very helpful. Uh, so in order to connect, we'll create uh, CNN equals sc.connect, and then I'll put my snow user, snow pass, and snow account in there. Those are actually variables that are loaded above the import statement. and. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, I'm just putting those in as variables so we don't read them here. And then uh, we're going to connect directly into our warehouse uh, database and then schema. And that's going to help us to go exactly where we want to go in order to do the work we want to do. And uh, then we can get started here. So we're going to, uh, first thing we'll do is we're going to create a cursor. Um, so we'll say cs equals cnn.cursor. And then we'll say uh, print uh, loading JSON and uh, and then uh, I'm just going to grab the file contents in order to do this. Um, the, you can also do staging. We'll do an episode on how to do the staging files and all that stuff in, an, in another episode. Um, but for today we've got a very simple JSON file so we're just going to read that file and we'll load that into a variable. We'll just say uh, file.read and that's going to put the, the contents of that file a text file into a string and then we can close our file let that go and then uh, build our SQL string and in order to do our string here 
I'm going to um, just do a very simple insert. I'll, I'll do an insert into customer and we'll be putting that into the cust JSON field in that table. So we'll, we'll specify that in our insert statement and then I'll go select and we're going to put the uh, parse JSON in there because uh, cust JSON is a variant field. Now that's quite important. Um, so make sure if you're going to put some JSON into your table, it, it is actually a variant field because the, that field can take special um, kinds of uh, data and data types, and one of them is JSON. And so in this case, uh, uh, we've, we can just say parse JSON and, uh, and then put our JSON string in there. Now, if you're doing this in production, you should use a parameter for that. Um, and uh, I'm kind of lazy here today doing it as putting it into the uh, string there. But you can see uh, that's what we've got for our SQL string. Then we can just go cs.execute SQL and then we'll commit that so that it actually saves it in the table. And then uh, we'll go ahead and uh, look at doing some selection. So we'll just build our SQL string here. We'll say select star from uh, customer since we'll only have one row in there right now. Um, and that'll give us, uh, you'll get to see what the feedback looks like or the data looks like when it comes back if we just say select star. Um, and then uh, what I'll do is I'll just grab that, I'll say cs.execute SQL uh, and then for uh, record, record in records uh, I'll print the record and that should be enough for us to uh, get some feedback on the record that we inserted with some JSON in it and, uh, and then I'll complete our try accept block here so that if we do get an error it's going to print that out um, and uh, whether or not it gets an error or not it will close the connection and so we'll print disconnecting and uh, then we'll go uh, cnn.close and that'll close our, our connection. Um, then we can sort of leave some feedback and just say print closed and then we'll go back to the main uh, part of the procedure and whether or not anything happens we'll say done at the end. <laughs> and that should give us everything that we need in order to insert some JSON into our table and then read that table in order to sort of see what's happening happening there. So I'll hit F5 and this is what we get out the other side. You can see this is very hard to understand. Um, there's our Mary Duncan at the very bottom of our of the text that comes out. Um, so you can see that's not very readable. Uh, if you look closely, you can see the first column, the ID column, uh, actually came out correctly. It has a one there. Uh, but uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go and we're going to extract a field from the JSON uh, field and we want to get the full name out so we're going to try and get that uh, <clears throat> get Mary's name out of there and the way that we do it is we can go uh, cust json colon uh, full name from customer and and that's going to give us um, just that one field so now if I go ahead and, and print that you can see or if I run it you can see that the uh, it got the right name there but uh, those double quotes are going to stay with that entry there. Uh, the single quotes don't go along. So say you were uh, getting into a pandas data frame or something, those uh, double quotes would be in, in each field. And so we're going to specify the field, uh, the data type. And if we put string on the end there, you can see now it's formatted Mary Duncan as a string. And that's exactly what we wanted to see there. Um, so now we can uh, we can get our fields out. Anything that's on sort of like the top level of the JSON file, uh, we can get out no problem. And say if we wanted to add another uh, customer, we have that second JSON file in there. So we'll put uh, customer2.json in there. And, uh, and then we can run that again. And we can see that it'll pick up that new file this time, insert it. And uh, now we've got Mary Duncan and Jim Smith in our table uh, in a, with the JSON field in there. 
And so I'll go and comment out these two uh, lines again so that we don't double insert, but we're gonna we're gonna let the selection happen because we want to show some more fields. So you can do the same thing for other fields uh, in here. Um, that anything that's on sort of like the top level of the JSON file. And so that's going to make our string quite a bit longer. So I'm going to put that in brackets um, so that I can put some line breaks in here uh, with our Python string. And I'll, I'll add a couple of lines here because we're going to have our cust JSON uh, age. We'll, we'll grab the age field as well. Uh, which is lowercase, and uh, we're, that's going to be an integer, so we want that to display correctly. And we'll put a comma there. We need to put a comma after this one as well, and um, and we'll put in uh, the gender as well. So we'll say cust JSON uh, gender, and that will be a string as well, and that should give us a few fields from our our table. We're getting all of our data from the uh, JSON data that was passed in. And we've got a query now on Snowflake that's going to give us uh, output from that. Oh, I broke it already. Uh, looks like I'm missing, uh, oh, I'm missing a, a double quote there. Let's go and fix that. There we go. Okay, we'll save that. We'll hit go, F F5. And now you can see we've got uh, two rows. Uh, with an integer as the second row and we've got strings for the first and third rows and that's exactly what we wanted to see in getting our basic query done against our JSON fields in Snowflake. Interested in joining my community? Make sure to check out my Patreon. The link is in the description.